Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. So this is going to be a general reading for your sign. It may or may not resonate, so just take any messages that apply and disregard the rest. I read past, present and future energy, so please also bear that in mind. And cross watchers, you're welcome here. Let's get into the reading Capricorn. I hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are in the world. Some of you have got new jobs coming your way. Just seen the ace of pentacles while shuffling some of you may have felt like it's been a long wait to move into a new position or to start up your own company some sort of a business venture here but i feel like this is going to be something mutually beneficial for you i feel like a match the situation with regards to your career it's going to be a match that's what i'm picking up here yeah, I keep on seeing Ace of Coins, second time, and the Hierophant. Some of you are going to be um, doing something very official here where you're looked up to, where you're recognised, where people hold you in high esteem, I feel. Hierophant energy, that's Taurus energy. Right. You have just seen the Queen of Pentacles, more Earth energy. A lot to do with your finances, financial stability at this time, Capricorn. All right, those are side notes, that's the truth. Just saw the Ace of Swords. Okay, let's get into your reading. Again, third time, I've literally just seen the Ace of Coins. Money is a key feature to this reading. It always is, Capricorn. <laughs> you always get into the bag. All right, messages for Capricorn, please. That's too many. Fourth time, can't make it up. Ace of Pentacles. I'm hearing money, 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 money. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's nice to have a joke. All right. First card out, six of pentacles, Capricorn, earth energy. What else? Nine of swords, nine of pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune, the Fool card, Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, two more please Spirit, okay, I've got three so I'll take them all, Four of Cups, the World card and the Nine of Wands bottom of the deck for you ten of cups excellent what's after the ten of cups they are justice okay some of you are dealing with um some kind of relationship matters here oh it might be for some of you here that a relationship's coming to an end there could be some kind of legality that's taking place at this time if you are married i feel just seen the ten of cups to the justice to the death card here that won't be for everybody here it's definitely someone's message though okay let's get into it why is the six of pentacles here for capricorn at this time six of pentacles for capricorn please do it six of pentacles is clarified by the judgment and the high priestess so at this time I feel Capricorn there's a lot to do with receiving from people equally I feel like you are ah, okay your intuition is telling you to seek out situations with people where you know you are going to have balance where people are going to put in as much as you put in with the high priestess energy here some of you are psychics some of you have intuitive downloads here there's a real sense of knowing. You have an inner knowing on situations with people, places and things. And there's something around you knowing when people are trying to get over on you. When they're trying to breadcrumb you here. And I feel like you absolutely tap into your intuition or your inner knowing in order to, I'm hearing, dismiss these situations or people that do this. Your intuition is also saying to you that 
the only way forward is to have equal energy exchange and equal energy exchange what you put in has to be has to be matched you could also have people around you at this time knowing that you're yeah you're not playing it's either come towards you correctly or don't come towards you at all fairness here what I give you give so people know that they need to make sure that they're in the right energy of giving and receiving when it comes to you no overextending that's what I'm hearing at this time Capricorn you're not overextending yourself your intuition is telling you not to do this it has to be equal give and take right why is the nine of swords here please oh, that's too many why is the nine of swords here please thank you again six of pentacles 66 could be significant for some of you here why some of you are either in your head again about either being breadcrumbed or somebody is in their head around not being able to breadcrumb you because you are very much seeking reciprocity here I keep on hearing it's like people can't get over on you and give you less than you deserved at this time Capricorn like your hands out and it's like okay yeah thank you I'll take that thank you I'll take that I'll take this and this and this as well thank you very much because I am deserving of it you can't breadcrumb me don't try and give me the little pentacles I want everything that I deserve in this situation someone or people are anxious because they have to give to you fairly let's get another card All right. that's too many like loads of cards want to fly out for you today as well Capricorn what is going on with you guys at this time there's a lot of confusion I feel like people are messy I don't know why I'm picking this up at this time there's like a messy energy around you or messy people confused energies stressed energies right why is why is this here please I'll take these two. Page of Swords with the Three of Cups. These could be past friends, Capricorn, that are no longer able to breadcrumb you and give you the bare minimum. Page of Swords with the Three of Cups. These could be people that are spying on you at this time. I'm getting friends. They could be gossiping here with the Page of Cups here. They're definitely spying, but there's something to do with maybe petty conversations about you around you not tolerating any unfair actions or maybe you've moved yourself away from people that don't give you too fairly so that so I feel like there's a couple of it could be up to three people actually almost like bitter betties sitting in the background spying on you wanting to reconnect with you I, I'm getting friend energy all right why is the free you seem to be nine of coins energy just about your business self-sufficient working hard as you do Capricorn as you should <laughs> let's see nine of coins for Capricorn right nine of coins is clarified by the five of cups and the king of pentacles maybe you've had some um difficulties hmm when it comes to money matters I see a little bit of regret and disappointment maybe with regard to some business ventures that have taken place in the past maybe that's another reason why at the beginning of your spread the uh, ace of pentacles kept on coming now speaking of new job new opportunities freshness fresh ideas because for some of you here with this king of pentacles energy and the five of cups maybe there's just been some disappointments with regards to working situations here definitely spilt cups energy Let's get another card on that for you. Yeah, some of you have had to prioritise loads. Two of Pentacles energy. I've seen you going back and forth, having to be overly flexible with regards to, could be financial matters, but also working matters. Maybe I'm hearing overtime. Some of you are having to put in the work, do over and above and beyond at this time, maybe to bring your money back up to like the Nine of Pentacles or King of Pentacles status. Yeah, look at that. Can't make it up. I'm hearing like Rihanna's song, work, 
Eight of Pentacles, you are working hard, Capricorn, grafting, making money, mastering crafts, I'm hearing. But it's in a bid to Nine of Pentacles keep you in a self-sufficient energy or get you into a self-sufficient energy. Something to do with your independence being very key, making sure that you don't want for money. Okay, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Ace of Swords. One more, please. With the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I see you wanting a breakthrough. Ace of Swords energy with the Wheel of Fortune. You may have felt like you're, you had misfortune recently, when it, again, when it comes to work, when it comes to maybe some sort of struggles, pressures. Ace of Swords is almost like looking for a new resolution here, wanting a breakthrough to your circumstances. Some of you have felt burdened, wounded warrior energy. One more, please. All right, Spirit is giving me two. Six of Wands to the Death Rebirth. I feel like you're wanting to recreate some kind of a successful period that you've had in your life, or you're moving towards this Capricorn. Death to Rebirth. I feel like the Rebirth is very significant here. I'm, I keep on getting this energy of recreating success. For some of you here, you may have felt like the success has slowed down for you. It's died in some way, shape or form here. And I see you strategizing to bring about a new successful opportunity or time in the limelight, time getting attention, praise, recognition. Why is the fool here? For some of you, you're starting again. Going on a new, um, a new journey. Maybe trying new territories. Yeah, the fool to the star. Wild card energy. Some of you are literally, <laughs> I'm hearing like going rogue <laughs> in the best possible sense though. I feel like with the full card into the star, it's, it, that always gives me wild card vibes. There's, a, there's an energy of just taking a leap of faith, like putting all your eggs in the basket for some of you here and saying, do you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to pack light. This person, they've got their little bag, hardly anything, free spirit energy. And I'm just going to like see where my pursuits, where my endeavours, where my adventures take me because hopefully it's going to land in some sort of stardom here. I'm getting like an energy of I can use my skills, talents and abilities to see me through like a transitionary phase or into a new beginning. You're very talented, I feel Capricorn, very talented. You have a lot of skills some of you have done this already. You've taken a leap of faith into the unknown and people are starting to see that you're, you're an inspiration. And you could be feeling very inspired at this time. I'm getting creative vibes. There's definitely something around you having um, a multitude of talents here, Capricorn. And I feel like you're tapping into them. You could be at the beginning of this journey some of you are just realizing that you are highly skilled and people want to see you like they want to see you thrive they want to see what you can do i see you taking a leap of faith and and tapping into this star-like energy showing off your star-like qualities oh, this is lovely i really love this for you capricorn that star always gives me hope inspiration star quality vibes hmm. okay let's keep it moving seven of wands please for capricorn seven of wands for capricorn seven of wands is clarified by the nine of cups some of you are protecting your your own happiness some of you might have had people up to seven could be doesn't have to be almost like trying to come against you there's a sense of some people not wanting you to be happy. Seven of Wands energy. But I feel like you've blocked them out. In order to put your happiness first. In order for you to... Uh, I feel... I'm getting like... I'm free. I feel... 
people could have blocked you or blocked your path in some way shape or form Capricorn and you freed yourself and now I feel like you have moved away and you're quite defensive and protective with your time your space your energy I feel like people can't just come in your energy now Capricorn not unless they're invited because everything is nine of cups energy everything is it's like solo energy you're concentrating on yourself very guarded of yourself is what I feel and your time your energy who you give it to at this time that's what's coming up for me why is the eight of coins here for Capricorn eight of coins I've just split the deck and I've seen the four of wands to the sun card here so there's a real sense that you are working hard again as usual in order to with a sun card here bring about your ultimate fulfillment happiness blissful um, feelings there's a real sense of making sure that you're happy and I feel like again with the four of wands here you're working to ensure that your foundations are stable there's something around making sure it could be you and your family here feel secure I keep on hearing so nobody wants for anything everybody everyone's looked after okay let's get another card eight of coins there's also someone here that wants to have an opportunity with you for my single Capricorns this could be someone that you work with eight of coins to the nine of swords to the knight of cups there could be somebody in your energy I keep on getting at work that's a bit stressed <laughs> I'm like I'm getting like this visualization of somebody kind of wiping their brow or wiping the sweat off their brow because when they see you you make them nervous somebody wants to ask you out on a date Capricorn and I feel like maybe they feel you work too much or you might not have time for them because every time they see you you've just got your head in your PC or your head in a book or you're just um, I, I don't know on your way to something to do with work matters here but there's someone that look as I said that bottom of the deck you've got the king of wands someone's very attracted masculine or any masculine or feminine energy there's someone around you that finds you to be very very attractive desirable sexy as i said that behind the king of wands is the queen of wands someone sees you as their perfect match you two i feel this person feels like you two aesthetically would just look very pleasing on the eye together as a couple someone is very passionate about you here there's a lot of sexual chemistry again with this queen and uh, king and queen of wands and i feel that you guys could have a lot of sex if you get together well, this is what this person wants anyway but there's a lot of passion someone definitely feels like you you could be their counterpart again male or female i see someone wanting to take you out knight of cups energy express like romantic feelings for you maybe bring you flowers here this could be a younger water sign dark hair doesn't have to be very very um pretty eyes i'm getting could be um kind of piercing could be piercing brown eyes even tattoo i'm getting tattoos um they could have a sleeve very ah oh, this person is um very cute <laughs> so whoever I'm reading from, picking up an energy of somebody that um, is very attractive actually, but has got a lot of emotions. So they're not one dimensional. It's not just about the looks. This person has got more to them. I feel like this person is emotionally available as well. Something about this person's eyes. This person could stare at you at work is also what I'm picking up here. And you, you kind of have an inkling that this person likes you because maybe you catch their eye. That will be for some of you here. Someone stares at you, Capricorn, and they're good looking. Not that that's the be all and end all once again. Okay, four of cups, why is this here? Some of you aren't interested in the relationship right now um, or you're in a relationship, but maybe you're feeling a little bit... Uh, apathetic about it at this time for some of you here I'm getting two narratives some of you maybe the spark needs to be put back into the connection here 
because there's like some demotivation around it and I feel like for others of you maybe there's there's a lack of in terms of your relationship situations and you're looking for a soulmate with this lover's card some of you could feel like there's a lot of competition out there it, whether that's regarding dating sort of getting yourself back out on the scene like a lot of people are competing and I feel like for some of you ten of wands energy you can't be doing with this or you find like this would be a burden and I'm looking on the eight of pentacles when I said that so some of you feel like maybe there will just be like um it will be a burden with regards to juggling work and a relationship but there's something to do with either feeling like there's competition for a relationship or for a particular person or to yeah something like this you might have people competing over you as well for some of you is what i'm getting okay why is the world here why is the world here for capricorn the world is clarified by the two of wands some of you, again, I just saw the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you have um, begun closing out old cycles here. And I see you at a crossroad, Two of Wands energy, looking at what you're going to do next with regards to work. I feel like for the majority of you here, the cycle is work related. And I see you looking at other options and opportunities, trying to strategize what to do next. Trying to gain some kind of insight trying to use your discernment here what's the best move i'm getting for career it's definitely career right why is the nine of wands here for capricorn right nine of wands is clarified by the eight of wands a little fire energy a little fast movement but okay with the eight of cups to the king of swords okay interesting so i pick up for some of you there's a real sense of fast movement away from life burdens things that have held you back caused obstacles in your path i see you moving away from it pretty quickly here like rapid <laughs> eight of wands rapid speed with the eight of cups here you're abandoning anything that's caused you struggles there's nine wands here so these struggles could have been different things again i'm getting people circumstances obstacles whatever's caused you setbacks capricorn i feel like you have quite coldly king of swords energy turned your back on it and moved on set a boundary between you and it something like this right let's get one more For some of you there's definitely been some kind of endings and relationships here um possible divorces i feel and I see you trying to regain peace of mind and balance. That could have been, for some of you, one of the burdens, one of the setbacks, struggles that you've had to overcome in life. Some, uh, I'm getting like marriages haven't worked out, haven't been successful, unfortunately. All right. Yeah, again, the justice card, again, to the seven of wands. I see you protecting your peace of mind, something around protecting your your investments as well some of you are being protected from what's this something to do with um there's karma justice or fairness again fairness and balance and connections some of you are really protecting yourself from any connections any people that you feel will try and treat you less than or give you less than i feel like okay i'm also getting life lessons and um some of you here with the nine of wands energy have learned some really um harsh lessons when it comes to relationships and i feel you have you've definitely learned hence the reason why you use your intuition now with the high priestess to the six of coins the judgment you're very discerning of people now and nobody can really almost like I'm hearing kind of get into your inner circle unless you've kind of given them unless you've scrutinized them unless you've given them the once over and you've deemed them to be 
almost worthy because they're matching your energy or they're going to give you what you give them that will resonate with who it resonates with but there's definitely a protective bubble around you at this time Capricorn and I don't see you going out of your way to let people in so let's quickly get one of these or a few of these let's see how many spirit wants you to um to have okay messages for Capricorn and then we'll get ready to close the reading out many all right one more please spirit okay cool all right so your first one 39 could be significant your age could be 39 you could um hmm, your door number could be 39 as well raindrops take a chance on them some of you are wanting to take a chance on a relationship could be a same sex um, dynamic here two feminine energies take it as it resonates this won't be for everybody you're being guided if it feels right to take a chance this could be something that's divinely orchestrated it doesn't have to be but I'm just looking at the angels here there's something around maybe you feeling at home with somebody or you feeling close and connected to them could be masculine and feminine energy um i was just drawn to the two feminine energies in the photo but if your heart chakra is open and it's leading you towards um exploring getting to know people then that's what it's telling you to do go with it right tree let them go so again like i said whatever these life burdens have been um capricorn i see you with the eight of cups literally hightailing it away eight of cups and the eight of wands here 88 could be significant for some of you here there's definitely an energy of you letting people go or turning your back at this time and moving off in a new direction and i feel you may still be harboring upset disappointment in your energy towards them and spirit is asking you to let it go some of these are family members i feel yeah because this always gives me family tree vibes and the, again the branches are on fire some of you have been guided to let disappointing and quite um, painful situations that have happened with family members to, uh, to let them go now 18 could be significant for some of you here right last one garden something lovely will grow from this 15 this feels like work vibes capricorn <laughs> just to finish off for you I feel whatever you're trying to plant seeds in at this time, whatever direction you decide to move off in, if you're starting a new venture, if you are trying to um, build something of your own here, you're being told to keep going because something lovely is going to grow from it. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for you. I hope it's resonated in some way, shape or form. If it has, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you back in another video. Namaste Capricorn.